How's it going guys? Um, I'm just doing a quick video here to show you how to save scum the Elder Melder and get rerolls on your decorations. Um, okay, so let's get started. First, you want to go over to your local C drive, program files. Uh, you want to scroll down over to Steam, uh, go into your user data file or folder, and um, on this screen here, you might see a few different numbers, uh, and that's because you, you have multiple uh, Steam accounts associated with the computer you're using. Um, but myself, this is my personal computer, so I only have one Steam profile here. And so there, there are ways to find out which numbers are yours um, through Steam, ID Finder, or something like that. I'm, I'm sure you can figure it out on YouTube. But uh, for the purposes of this video, um, I'm just going to show you through my Steam account here. So you go over to your profile, head over to um, this folder here, the 582010 folder. And that's going to be your Monster Hunter World file. Sorry, my cat's on my keyboard. Okay, so go into there, go into remote. And this file here is your save data from your game. All right, so you just want to copy that. And what I like to do is I like to paste it on my desktop. All right, so now that's done. You want to open up Monster Hunter World? Ignore this. Oh, it's Tuesday. Okay, that's fine. It should work out fine. You can do this offline. Yeah, Steam does a maintenance on every Tuesday from 6 to 8 where I'm from. It's a little annoying, but what can you do? All right, so once you're in Monster Hunter, you're going to go over to your Elder Melder there and perform your first wyvern ritual using whatever one you want but the way to go is definitely the strange stream and now i want you to notice that i have two mighty bow jewels here all right so because they're worth so much money or so much so many points i'm just gonna have to use one and melt So let's see what I got. I got a defense jewel, a resistor jewel, and a vitality jewel. Got multiple copies of these jewels, and none of them are very rare, so I don't really want them. Let's get rid of them. Alright, so to re-roll, all I gotta do is quit the game. You don't have to save your progress, or you can save your progress, it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you're going to be replacing your save file with the one you um, made a copy of on your desktop. So once again, you're going to go back to your uh, Steam user data fo folder, and the default on mine is the C drive, program files, the 32-bit one, uh, Steam, user data and then my profile, and then the game profile, and then remote. And you're just gonna replace the save data that's in here with the one from your desktop. And notice that the time changed from 606 to 601. All right, so then you just gotta open up, mon open up Monster Hunter World again. And while this game's loading, let's uh, 
let's talk about why you do this and if it's you know if, if it's cheating um, I don't really think it's cheating and people have been doing it on the PS4 and the Xbox for so long and there have been no real repercussions for doing it because at the end of the day um, you're just you're just saving time you're not it's not game breaking um, you're just making yourself a better player you're making the experience more enjoyable for yourself really all right so open up the game start I'm just gonna walk over to the Elder Melder again and show you that I still have my my two uh, oh, jewels. My eyelids are heavy. All right, so there we go. We still have the two Mighty Bow jewels. All right, so if I were to do the same meld, or if I were to meld my Mighty Bow jewel again, I would actually get the exact same um, gems that I got uh, the first time around. So to cycle through the, the jewels, I'm going to go ahead and do a quest. Not an investigation. Um, I like to do the six star quest called Chef Quest, Pump to d Deliver. And this is uh, apparently the fastest way to re-roll or, or cycle through the Elder Melder jewels. So you're going to walk over to this fossil here. The last time I did this, I got all four fossils in this one spot. But let's see how lucky I am this time around. Mm. All right, not so lucky. Okay, so the second spot to go is down here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Return to headquarters. Alright, so notice that it just made a, uh, a save uh, state again. And now what you want to do is tab out, go back to your remote folder, and copy the current save state. And place it on your desktop again. And now if I go over to the Elder Melder. Hey there. Vibrant Ritual, Strange Strain, go over to my Mighty Bowl, and melt. Alright, so notice that I got different, direct, uh, different jewels this time. Again, I don't really like these, so I'm just going to sell them. out of my game. Go 
doesn't matter if I save my progress or not, but I did. And I'm just going to copy, go back to my desktop, copy the old save state, go back to rem my remote folder, place that, and there you go. So this way, you save your gems, and uh, you get to re-roll and get the gems you want and make the game, the grind, a little less annoying and less dependent on RNG Jesus. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.